Hi, welcome back to MH Photography. The aim of this short video is to show you how to set up studio lights so that you can balance them in order to take decent quality portraits. What I'm going to show you is how to set the flash meter, where it connects to and how to adjust the actual lights. What I've actually got here is a Bowens Gemini GM400 studio light. On the light itself you have a dial on the side that adjusts the power. You have the plug that the power goes into, various switches and a jack plug when it's plugged in that connects to the flash meter or to the flash trigger in order to make the flash work. In this instance I've got a flash meter connected. You'll notice at the front of the lamp that you've got the modelling light and then you've got the stroboscopic ring. The modelling light lights to give you light on the subject to show you how the photograph will be produced, where the shadows are etc. Once you are ready to take the photograph you use the stroboscopic lamp which causes the flash that it makes it bright enough for you to be able to take the photograph. In my hand I have a flash meter. You'll see there's a dial in the middle of various buttons. To operate it you turn it on you can see it's starting. You have to set the speed of the sensor that you want. In this case it's set to 100. You need also to make sure that the speed of the shutter is set, in this case at an 80th. What we need to do now is take a reading of this in front of the subject to find out what the F number is that will appear here. You can see my trusty subject, flash. In this instance, I'm going to turn the flash meter on, we're set at 80, we have an ISO of 100 and all I need to do now with it connected is make sure the mode's in the right place and fire. You can see that it's recorded F8 which we can set the camera at. Now, if we wanted to get that at 5.6, what we do is we adjust the dial on the side of the light until we get a reading of 5.6. Now, currently, you can see where the dial is pointing. It's just above the 3 on the power, just over halfway. We're going to have to reduce it to get to 5.6. So I go back. Take another reading, drop the dial down, push the little button on the side to get rid of the power on the capacitors, retake another meter reading, which is halfway, so I still need to reduce it. button to get rid of the capacitor again. We now have a reading of 5.6.